Here is a very cool deception that is made possible due to something that you find everywhere in the world now, but 10, 15 years ago, wasn't anywhere. The idea is to be able to get to someone's thoughts using a paper napkin. You say, I'm gonna try to read your mind using a paper napkin because have you ever got a paper cut? They really hurt, right? Well, I've got many layers here. I've sharpened them. I'll be slashing at your head getting into your mind, mind, mind. <laughs> at that point, they back away. They're not sure what to do. You say, no, I'm gonna try. So Chris, my forever loyal guinea pig in these experiments, paper napkin and marker. Gonna give this to you, my friend. Okay, take them both. I want you to think of any word in the world. Okay, you take your time. I know you're looking for a surface there. Any word in the world, and he really can choose any word in the world. And you look away, say, I want you to write on the napkin any word in the world. And I'm gonna try to get a sense of psychic touch. I'm gonna turn around. I want you to put it on my hand with the word facing down. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay, like that. And people can see that there's no way, and you guys can see, watch my eyes here, nothing weird. There's no way you can see through the paper. Nobody can see through the paper in the least. You say, I'm gonna get a sense here. Let's see if I get a sense. In fact, I'm gonna ball it up so you don't think I can do any kind of funny and hold it in my hand. It's that fair. Okay, I'm getting a sense. Getting a sense. It's, I'm seeing toes. Does it have some, toes, does it have something, to, Chris, does it have something to do with feet? Does uh, yeah. It does, okay. I'm seeing, uh, oh, okay. Uh, like a sock? No, no, it's it's a it's a sandal. No, it's is the word shoe? Did you write shoe on here? Yeah. Let's see whether I can't. Shoe. A little bit of acting goes a long, long way. With a little bit of acting, you can take the simplest trick and raise it to a huge, crazy status. And this is a great example of this because this is exactly what it seemed to be. People can name any word, think of a number, and you can get a sense of it and then reveal it in any way you want, just the way I did. I mean, really shocking potential. Uh, but to pull it off at the right time and place requires some very subtle, subtle um, acting on this. And I didn't use a slight, not a single slight. Gimmicks, not a single gimmick, okay? So how's it done? Um, Chris, if you can pan down to the table for me here. I'm gonna show you how this principle works here. We've got everything, everything on the table in the shot, I hope. I'm gonna show you how this principle works. Now, I don't know how you guys are. Uh, it's different when I'm doing a set show, but when I'm sitting around with friends, I'm at a coffee shop or a restaurant or something, it's not surprising to get this kind of stuff going. There's usually a mark around. Maybe I'm doing something with a mark or a pen. Uh, maybe there's a drink around. Of course, there's usually at least a few cell phones kicking around. Bills, money, magazine, all this stuff. And the secret to this principle is called, it's from an old term called using a shiner. Now, a shiner is of course something in which you can catch the reflection of something, okay? Now, at a dining room table, what makes for a great shiner is a butter knife, a nice, wide, simple knife. Got a great potential to be used as a mirror, and in fact, in the Old West and even long uh, and in the time between now and then, when dealing cards, dealers would have a knife if there's a set table there and you're having a casual, friendly game. If you look at the reflection in the knife, you can see the index of a card. Now, obviously, if you're dealing over quickly, but what they do is deal up the cards and then have one card, sort of while people are getting their cards up, you just have to do this and this. And you can look down and see the reflection in the knife of uh, what uh, the index of the card. So that's a shiner. A glass covered table makes for a great shiner, okay? And in fact, my favorite shiner, either with mine or somebody else's, particularly when the phone is turned off. This is an amazing shiner. Anything you hold two, three feet above it for just a beat, you practice your angles, your glance downs, and you can see the whole thing which is why the principle I'm gonna show you, you can have somebody borrow a bill, say fold it in half and write it on here. A bill is, is, works nicely and when you fold it in half, there's no chance of it leaking through. So they can write it on a bill, they can write it on a business card, they can write it on a, a magazine, okay? Uh, you know, say look, let's find something here or a newspaper, let's find a uh, here, right here, across here, write a word down, I don't wanna see it, okay? You take it back, but my very favorite is a paper napkin. 
So with a paper napkin, all I do, like I said, I mean, if this is the only thing in your space sitting there at the lunchroom table, right dead center set up, you're going to get busted. Okay. If you're not careful, but if you've got a couple of things there and you know how to handle people's eye management where they're looking. So I handed this to Chris. He wrote the word shoe. Okay. Now you're going to find if you grab a piece of white paper or paper napkin, and someone with a big black marker writes a word on this like this, even though no one can see it right now, I'm looking and the thing is, and this is key, you need to have a justification to look down at it. So I take it from them and I say, and as you can see, there's no way I can see through that, right? Anybody can see anybody else. And just by showing people this, I'm going right over my phone every time. And every time I glance down at my phone, I just see the big honking word shoe. Okay. But you don't want this. To, you could play up the fact that you have a psychic uh, x-ray vision or super sensitive touch. But what I prefer to do is no one can see it. And I make sure my head's turned away for much of this as I then ball this up and you can even put it in someone's hand. So think about the potential there. Any word, any number, their middle name, their aunts, the, the year the aunt died, anything you want, they can write down a piece of paper. And as long as you handle the situation uh, in, a, in, a, in an easy going way, you can, thanks to your phone being turned off, you can um, uh, uh, like amazingly divine all this super private information. Speaking of crazy ass mentalism tricks, uh, I taped something last week and I'm going to share it probably next week, maybe the week after. It's a crazy mentalism trick. I'm going to be sharing that. So that's coming up really, really soon. Yet another reason to subscribe, turn on your notifications, click the like button. Okay. If you're into this kind of thing where you give people every reason in the world to believe that you've got some sort of supernatural psychic powers, if you're a megalomaniac like I am, you need to subscribe to this channel. We'll see you real soon. Take it easy.